Sorry about that, I accidentally cut off the video. I So I have a touch bar on my MacBook Pro and I'm using quick time to record this and I accidentally press stop on the touch bar instead of the escape key, which is a minor annoyance. So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and click cancel and let's do something. Let's go to main adapter and we'll do option enter, create class main adapter and it'll automatically create that for us and we can open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of, by the way, so, yeah, sorry about that cutoff. I'm just gonna pick off where I left off. So let's do this, let's do, um, and I've covered this in previous videos, let's do main adapter.view holder. Now it's given us a bunch of errors, so what are we gonna do? Whenever you get an error in Android Studio, you can do this. Put your mouse over it, click somewhere over it, and do option enter. Uh, so implement methods, enter, and that gets rid of some of the errors. I'm gonna put my mouse, but well, there's still some red, there's still some red text, so I'm gonna put my mouse over it and do option enter, enter, and there's still an error, so put your mouse over it, just click over it, do option enter, enter, and there's still an error over here, so put your mouse over it, option enter, enter. So you can see how, look, look at all this code that was created in literally like 10 seconds. You can do this really fast. So it's just some of the conveniences of Android Studio. So um, this still isn't working because see we reference M adapter, which is the same up here, we're setting up the adapter and it says, hey, our adapter is gonna be new main adapter. And you, what you can do is you command, command click on it and it'll take you to that file. So here's the file. But we're also saying, hey, we wanna pass it something. So in the side, so in the side of those two yellow icon, uh, those parentheses, you can see, hey, we need to take M users. And M users is up here. We initialized M users there. We got a new first, first user there and we're doing M users, add first user. So we need to accept this. So let's do something. Let's go into here and let's do private array list user M users. And that's still not gonna work because we haven't actually accepted it yet. So we're passing it through there. So we're saying, hey, set up main adapter. We wanna pass it M users, which is up this code but we aren't actually accepting it in main adapter. So let's do something. Let's, let's create what's called a constructor. So I'm gonna do enter, enter, and then option, enter, uh, control, enter, I mean, constructor, and I'm gonna hit, so it's selected there, so just click on that and hit okay. And now this should work. So it won't show anything, so if I save it and reformat it, and if I try to run this, um, and why is it doing that? Oh, it must have, must have not checked the checkbox. So, so we're gonna set up a virtual device, or the virtual device is already set up, a Nexus 5X. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and I'll switch to it now. And this should take a couple of seconds. So, so here it is, so there's, it shouldn't display anything yet because there is nothing to be displayed because we haven't set that up yet. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's go ahead and do, so we, we have our M list of users. So let's, 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 start, let's just start with the easy part. Let's do M users dot size and that'll pass in how many users it has. So right now it has just one user. So that method, all it does is just, just make sure, kind of confirms how, many, how, how, how big the list is. And in this case, the list is only one user. So it'll, that'll, be, that'll be referenced here because we're passing it in right up there. Um, what else do we do? Oh, let's do, let's do public uh, text view in first name. And uh, well, we don't need to have it create. Let's go out go here. Let's do view, view equals layout inflator dot from parent dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot row and we haven't created that yet we're going to create that in just a second so we'll create the row layout in just a second so let's do that now it's looking i think it's parent of uh, then false so we have that now let's do return new view holder view and it's giving us an error this will not run because we have a layout saying layout of row so we need to create a layout called row so let's go over here let's go a new uh layout resource file and we'll name this row and linear layout is fine it doesn't really matter uh, i'm going to switch to code view um uh, we'll change height to wrap actually well, we won't do that i'll show you why that that's important we need to change that let's do text uh text view match wrap give it an id we'll name this first name, kind of my standard convention there, reformat the code. So this should work now. Well, it's not gonna show anything yet, but it should work. So let's go ahead and go over here. Let's do, inside of our onbind view holder here, let's do, 
let's do uh, holder dot m first name and m first name is coming from right here on line 41 so let's do dot set text and for now we'll do asdf asdf and uh, let me look at this this might actually work so I'm gonna do control R to run it and this might work or it might crash I forget what else uh, so let's look at the error uh, what else did, did we forget something I'm trying to think of what we did let's just open up Android monitor and this will give us an error I'm gonna get rid of that and let's see what the error was uh, okay let's let me re restart that let me run it again and I'm not sure why it's giving us an error but it keeps dying out here let me do something let me go ahead and X out of that and just close the emulator down I'm not sure what's not showing us the errors uh, let me let me just look through this really quickly see if I can figure it out so we're so let's see set layout uh, set adapter trying to think of why this is recycler view set has fixed size so new linear layout manager new adapter uh, set adapter we set layout manager we set the adapter um, okay let me run it one more time and if not I might need to pause this video and figure it out so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the 5x again I'm gonna run that and it'll probably open up on another monitor and it does I'm gonna drag it in there um, let's see waiting for target device to come online so yeah I, I come I come across errors like every day I see I don't know dozens of errors like I, that's just part of the workflow you have to work through all these errors and figure out what's wrong and let's see if we can figure out what this is if it crashes and there's no error I'm gonna to need to restart Android Studio so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back to this in, a, in another video so hang on stay for the next video